Youngstown State University is built into the fabric of the Youngstown community. We give you a look at YSU's history in today's Daily Buzz. Today's Business Journal Daily Buzz is brought to you by 717 Credit Union. Youngstown State University has grown into a vital part of the community, but did you know it started as a law course at the YMCA? We started off as the Youngstown Association School of the YMCA. The YMCA began offering classes in 1906. Brian Brennan, YSU's assistant archivist, says the school went by a different name until 1930. By that time, uh, they started referring to the school as the Youngstown Institute of Technology mostly because James Wick, the uh, member of the board of the YMCA, uh, was a graduate of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, and he thought the name sounded really cool. The Liberal Arts College was referred to as Youngstown College. Over time, the name was used to reference the entire institution. We were using lease space in a couple of mansions here on Wick Avenue. The butler owned all the property from Wick Avenue to Fifth Avenue. Dr. Lou Zona, a YSU professor and executive director at the Butler Institute of American Art, says the school's development wouldn't have been possible without the museum's founder, Joseph Butler. Joe gave the university all that land so that they could expand. The college finally had land and an official name. It eventually broke ties with the YMCA in the 1940s. We needed accreditation so students if they ever left Youngstown College, could transfer their credit to other institutions and, ha and get credit for the courses they took here. The GI Bill was a great thing. YSU history professor Martin Berger says the GI Bill led to one of the first enrollment increases in the college's history. There weren't enough schools and, and people could actually go to graduate school and do their uh, uh, their, their stuff and have it a reasonable prospect of getting a job. So they were able to come home, uh, go to college, they got loans for houses and just to help them settle back into society. In 1955 the college grew into Youngstown University. The increased student body meant more space was needed for classes. Uh, the university was to receive an urban renewal grant to um, expand up here on the north side. Uh, urban renewal was all the rage in the early 60s. You'd have to walk to class, try to make your way to class, and there'd be rows of students sitting on the floor with their legs sticking out into the, the, the hall because there was no place else for them to be. So we would just stay in our cars um, through the winter months and hope that the sun was out to keep the car warm so we wouldn't have to run it. University development has always been one of those things that things were built as they were basically needed and uh, never according to any kind of grand plan. And uh, so this was, this was the first grand plan that really didn't come about. Come back tomorrow to see the second part of our two-part series on YSU's history, where we'll dive into the transition from Youngstown University to YSU. 717 Credit Union business services designed to meet your daily needs. Commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. 717 Credit Union, it's knowing you were treated right every time.